hey lovers and friends welcome back to my channel if it's your first time joining us i hope you stay you subscribe and become a part of life with munch if you're returning thank you for your dedication time and effort right so majority of my adult life i have spent as a thick girl if i can put it um like i've just always been delicious <laughs> you know and most of my adult life i have been trying out different diets going to gym quitting gym jogging stop jogging the drama and i have not been successful because every time i do the most i go on crazy diets and then it suffocates me and then i stop and then i gain the weight and i gain even more and then <laughs> fortunately i've always been confident you know even when i had very bad skin i was just like i know this problem can be solved so don't let it and steal your joy don't let it uh so it's been the same with my weight i'm just like i want to lose weight but i'm happy with my weight right now i'm not like depressed or crying oh I'm so bad yeah, 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 yeah. no i'm not doing that but i am very conscious of, i know i am probably overweight for my bmi but it's fine we are going to fix that in 2020 uh we're gonna fix that this year and yeah that's what i'm here to chat to you guys about what i've been doing what i'm doing differently why i think it's gonna work this time around um first things first my appetite is the make or break of this whole thing i've got an appetite for days you know i, I like i can eat i can eat i'm the type that wins food competitions i remember the one I remember, the one that was like, that stands out, the food competition that I won, was, I think it was grade six or seven when we went to Sun City. And it was the day after my birthday. It was the sixth, seventh of October. We went on the seventh of October. I remember I was in Northridge, Northridge Primary in Pretoria. Went to Sun City, it was nice, it was cute. There was a competition, into eating competition. And I was like, I'm your girl, sign me up sign me up initially they said that we we're gonna eat uh my son john more bunny worms and i was like <laughs> i'm gonna win win because i know this stuff is my stuff you know like i'm Zonga, so obviously my sonja is it's my snack it's like to all the Zonga people who don't eat my sonja we can fight I will leave my address down below for all the other people who don't eat my sonja. Okay! We were joking about that. Um, they were really joking and I was so annoyed because I was like, I'm ready. I was ready to win. I did win. Still. We ate ice cream with this ice cream and I gobbled it up. You know, I was young and sweet things were my thing and I didn't have sensitive teeth at that time so it was a piece of cake it was easy peasy lemon squeezy but yeah that's just to show how much appetite i have like i my appetite is large like i feel like god gave me the whole world's appetite sometimes i'd have to ref myself and say so wait stop stop so this time around, I was like, with the knowledge that I have based on the diets that I've tried, I'm going to do something about my weight. I have to do something about my weight because I want to be smaller. I want to have a flat stomach. I want to go buy bread in a bikini. That's what I want to do. The way I decided to check my appetite is to limit the amount of time I spend eating. And this is something called intermittent fasting so you eat during certain window periods and the most common is between 12 p.m and 7 p.m so you're only allowed to eat between those times so if you get home at nine i'm sorry you must just drink tea and sleep and pray and <laughs> get home early the next day so you can eat 
and so by the time you 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 eat by the time it's 12 o'clock you overfood the first day you know <laughs> that's why i i was like i'm gonna drink smoothies because like <laughs> if i have food i might go over the top so you kind of limit yourself by the time 12 o'clock hits you kind of forgotten that you were hungry hungry so now you just like um eating yeah you're eating for the sake of it's 12 o'clock now we have to eat but you kind of like over food you're just like oh you know what it's okay i don't really need you so it kind of limits how much food you can eat and i mean how much food are you gonna eat now because the whole purpose of this ex of the exercise is to eat less so if you're gonna binge eat it's just also gonna defeat the purpose so y'all should try intermittent fasting it's the plug and i i drink that apple cider mix masala thing i don't know some of you may know it some of you may not but what it is is it helps it's a besides the health benefits which i don't really want to get into it's a what is it but it suppresses your appetite um you mix apple cider vinegar warm water the um a bit of lemon and then i add cayenne pepper as well and i add turmeric and cinnamon for health benefits i just like i'm gonna put it in that concoction because I, I drink it once a day and the thing is it's nasty right apple cider vinegar is disgusting it's ugh. so i mix that and my favorite thing guys ginger is life-changing it's absolutely life-changing it helps with the day guys put me on a ginger promo i will kill it because uh, it's she's really that girl and ginger i prefer using um fresh ginger so i buy it peel it cut it up have it ready to go and then i boil it on the stove so that the the ginger can like extract itself i don't know it I drink that in the morning on an empty stomach every single day i should drink it at night but i forget sometimes so i'm just trying not to be too hard on myself because this is what we are doing when i'm being too hard when i forget i forget i move on drinking more water and i do that by setting alarms which i have now disabled because i'm in the groove of drinking water 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 so i don't need those alarms but it was 9 a.m 12 p.m 3 p.m speaking of here's some water i replaced my breakfast slash lunch because remember i only at, eat at 12 with smoothies so for the past couple of weeks uh at 12 o'clock um obviously like when i go to events and stuff those are exceptions because now what must happen it, <laughs> hey and these and then in the afternoon i have like a fruit or two fruits and a vegetable mostly carrots because i actually really like carrots and i think that's why i've got such great eyesight if the day comes and i have to wear glasses i'm gonna cry because like i used to eat carrots in high school every single day without fail in lowfield high school grade 10 to be precise maybe grade 11 and 12 i slept but grade 10 i remember i used to have this blue container i would peel and then cut some carrots into i would julienne them and i would eat them bro every single day and i have cut not cut out just reduced my red meat intake me it will be like monday red meat tuesday chicken wednesday red meat wednesday thursday fish friday like i'll alternate like that that's how it was with me you know but now i'm just like red meat and i don't even buy it like i buy for the week like right now i buy my groceries for the week or for two weeks and then so i don't have red meat to cook if it's not in my fridge i can't cook it that's also another thing if you don't want to eat something don't have it in your house why are you keeping potatoes if you don't want to eat them sweetie you're gonna eat them you know speaking of potatoes um carbs right reduced my carbs 
a lot bread. i've had bread four times probably this whole month i haven't had white rice i haven't had macaroni um you know i i eat brown rice i eat sweet corn i just don't come for me but i'm saying if you're going to steam your vegetables every single day and all you add is like a drop of salt it's not gonna be nice and then you're gonna quit so you need to find a way to make food nice yes well a lot of spices contain car contains flour you know you must read your labels you gotta read your labels but i mean there's a lot of ways to cook vegetables things that are not nice like baby marrow guys that thing is nasty nasty but i still buy it because i know how to cook it now and it tastes not so nasty you know so that's that's literally what it is trying to find a better way to eat those damn vegetables overall i'm just trying not to suffocate myself you know every day i'm like don't suffocate yourself if you feel like in a day you want to eat something eat it but if the consequences in the gym you feel them so i eat everything in moderation i try i try like i'm just really trying to like i'm winging it i don't wanna like i don't want to feel like it's been a full month without certain things or reduce and i don't feel crazy like i don't feel like i'm gonna die when the weekend comes i don't feel like oh, i'm gonna eat this and that and that i'm gonna eat a burger and a head no because i'm not suffocating myself yes i've indulged in like cheap meals <laughs> at mcdonald's and it was nice and i'm happy <laughs> and also if you are a consumer of alcoholic beverage let me tell you <laughs> that thing it's it's delaying your progress you know is this worth it are you going to drink that thing because the calories my sweetie because sugar also this the amount of sugar that is in like uh these beverages is hectic mm, you kind of have to reduce that yeah gym is also mental more than anything for me so it's helping me out a lot mentally so i can't stop going to gym because it's helping me like i go to the gym before going to the gym i'll be feeling under the weather and then after gym i feel <laughs> over the weather so gym is helping me and i feel like i need it like it's like it's discipline you're proud of yourself you know you're like today's friday i went to the gym the whole week oh god you know the inches around my waist i'm gonna stand up and show you guys my stomach ne? This is my stomach now. You know, it's not flat, but we are, we are getting big. I have lost a bit of inches around my waist. These pants were very tight, and now they are like sort of loose. Move a bit back. They sort of like a bit loose. They're not as tight as they used to when I purchased them. And then also, this belt. When I got this belt um, in November, I used to use the first hole. As you can see, it has been overused. And now I'm on here. I'm on the third one now. I know I have lost because there's a lot of clothes that I fit. And I'm like, oh my gosh, everything's fitting me better. Oh, oh. You know, and my love handles, which is these things. I hate them so much. Oh. <laughs> if there's one thing I hate about my body, it's love handles. I hate, 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 hate. So. And I'm good to go. So I'm just really making this video. I know like a lot of these weight loss videos, people make them when they've lost a lot of weight and like this before and after and you can see, oh, she's snatched now. But I'm really making this video also for myself. Cause I can't fall off the wagon now because it's on YouTube. People know that I'm losing weight, and also as inspiration to other people who are trying to lose weight. One thing you need to remind yourself is you cannot suffocate yourself with this new lifestyle. You've been eating papa, girl. Speaking of papa, 
I'm not coping. The fact that I'm not eating pap as much as I used to, or as much as I'm supposed to, because I'm Tonga, so I'm supposed to eat pap every day. Yes, I am. Pap is oxygen. I breathe with pap. But obviously, I know that's not, it doesn't make sense for me. My stomach, my weight. And I can't compare myself with people who have fast metabolism. And that's, that's essentially everything you need to know about what i've been doing let's go on this journey guys like i really want people to look hard with me like hey guys my birthday is in october now so i've got nine months left so we've got nine months left till october and i'm just like if i keep if i'm consistent like this i'm gonna look so hot most like i don't even know what i'm gonna do i'm really feeling sorry for you guys because I'm gonna make things shake. I'm gonna be an earthquake. There's gonna be a buzz, you know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative, found it encouraging. And let's do it. Let's do the things that needs to be done. Let's find the pots. This year, we are finding the pots to make our bodies. That's what we're doing. That's literally what we're doing. Other than that, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuning into the channel. See you next time.